Hello, Rachel here, Treehouse Fiber Arts. I am back with a review for you. The kind folks at hooksandneedles.com reached out to me and asked if I would like to try their, their knitting subscription box. I also received from them a crochet subscription box and you can find that review here as well on my channel. This is the knitting one. I'm very excited to check this out. I do get a lot of requests for um, folks sending me things to review and I usually say no because they don't make sense for my channel or my interests, but this one obviously did. I had never heard of Hooks and Needles before they asked me to review. So let's see what I got. I did go onto the website. I found out that I think they're about $34 a month for a subscription box. And they also sent me a discount code. If this is your first time with them and you want to try it out, consider using my discount code below for, I believe, 20% off. And um, thank you. If you do use that code, I think I get a little bit of a kickback on that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Comes in a great box. I've said it before. I really... I actually prefer getting things in plastic, but if there's breakable things, I prefer box, but I always feel bad when I throw away these really nice boxes or even when I send them to recycling. Okay, so we're gonna open up the box. Your yarnful dreams begin here. All right, what do we have? We've got this booklet. This booklet is, I love the feel of the booklet. I'm, I'm a tactile kind of person. This is a booklet. This is almost like a little mini magazine. It not only has, you know, tells you what's inside your box, but it explains how to knit, um, your guide to knitting in the round. It introduces the month's yarns. And it, always, it looks like they always have a recipe. And then there's an article or two in here. So it's a little bit more than just patterns. Uh, let's take a look. So they dive into color theory in this one. If you want to learn a little bit about color theory, I'm going to just kind of keep it out of the box. But before we go through the book, let's just take a look at what's in the box because it's screaming at me right now. Look at me. Look at me. This is a gorgeous color. I don't know if it's reading very well on camera here, but it's almost like a raspberry orange and it's a barber pulled kind of yarn where it's got a lighter and a darker version, um, two different tones of the yarn in it. Very, very nice and soft. This is called Sunset Hues. Ooh, and it's cotton wool. I love cotton wool mixes, especially for the shoulder seasons like spring and fall. 136 yards in 50 grams. So it is a nice, nice kind of uh, DK weight yarn. They're calling it a three light. Uh, 136 yards. So right away it looks like we have, um, oh boy, 150, 100, maybe like 400 yards of this really pretty color. So I love that. So even if I don't like the patterns, which usually in these subscription boxes, I, I'm not drawn so much to the patterns. I do like the yarn. The yarn I believe I read that all of their yarns are either sourced from Portugal or Italy, and this does feel like a, a really high quality natural uh, fiber yarn. And, it, and here it does say 100% natural fibers. So I appreciate that so much. It says to use a knitting needle four to seven USA size. So we've got this three skeins of this yarn. So right away, I mean, natural fiber yarns, um, of this caliber are anywhere from 10 to $20 a skein. So, I mean, we're already almost up to $30 just in the yarn. Also included, this looks like some sort of filling, fiber fill maybe. And, ooh, and we've got components, pieces. It looks like I will be making something that has a latch and learning how to put that onto in my knitting, which would be a really good thing to learn. These are cute. Hooks and needles, crafted by you, signed with love. Crafted with care labels. Oh, they say handmade with love. So you could put these on your garments that you make for other people. This is cute. I have nothing like this. And it looks like you stitch them on. There's some side holes that you would stitch it onto 
the um, whatever you've made and how cute it's got a heart opening in the center so whatever color you've knit that would pop in the middle I love these that is so cute something I would not buy for myself but I'm so happy to get very cute and then this is the most I don't know for me controversial item is when I get the actual knitting tools because I am so picky about knitting tools these are DPNs size 6 which and they're really long DPNs I don't think I own any DPNs this long so I guess that will be nice to have in my knitting tool arsenal nice wooden light needles so that is the kit let me just show you what the three I think there's gonna be three patterns what they are because I'm so curious given this given the accessories that came with it so the first one let's see the first one is a soothing sleeping mask hmm, I've never worn a sleeping mask but it gives you all the instructions row by row how to make it I don't want to show it all but here is the sleeping mask okay I guess it would be a good way to learn. It looks like you're doing maybe some short rows. Um, this looks like an I-cord bind off on the outside. So it might be a really small, nice pattern um, to learn some techniques you don't know already. Uh, I'm not sure though if I'd want to do it with this yarn. So I pro probably would pass on that first one, but I bet there's people that would be really interested in it. You're learning also how to make the I-cord itself as the strap, which is kind of neat. Okay, the second is the crazy octopus toy. I'm not sure if I would make an octopus in this color, but why not? Okay, so that's where the, those are eyes. Looks like these are eyes that you put on the octopus. Let's find a picture of the octopus. Wow, lots of great, let me just show you, pictures. Like, I, I really feel like someone relatively new could do this. Okay, that's very cute. I'm not sure if I would want to use this nice yarn to make the octopus. Uh, I, I might make like an acrylic kind of yarn. I'm not sure if this is superwash or not. Let me see. It says, I'm looking at the labels it says that it looks like you can wash it in cold water and air dry but honestly i'd rather make an a, a miragumi is that how you say that i'd rather make a little knitted toy out of something really washable for kids okay this last one is the chic purse and that's probably where you yeah that's using the latch okay i really like this one here it is that is cute that's really cute and how cool on a small project like this, it looks like you're learning interlock. That looks like interlock to me, which would be a great little project to learn interlock on. I learned it on a massive shawl, which took forever in my early days of knitting. So this might have been a smarter one to, to try. And it's going to teach me how to insert the um, metallic lockers. That's really cool. Okay, I, I actually think I might do that one. Although I don't know if I'd want to use, I mean, I think this would probably take one skein of this and I have three. And when I have three of something, I want to use it all together in a project. So that really is my, I wouldn't even call it a negative. Also has a recipe in here, which is kind of fun. Wow, okay, so uh, I think for $34, this is a really neat, I think it's a really good value, and I actually really like the yarn. Um, very good value, like the yarn, not sure about the, the tools, but they look like they're just a standard, when I say tools, I mean the knitting needles, it looks like they're just kind of your standard DPN, wooden DPNs, they're really smooth, they have a nice finish, so I I would assume that they're going to work very well. I don't know if I would use that, use these for the project though, but nice to have them in case, you know, you're sending this to someone that you don't know if they have the right size needles. These look like they'd be very good quality to use. I mean, they look, at first glance, they're not super pointy on the tip, but they're definitely not dull either. 
So I, I honestly, I really like this. And I mean, I think it'd be a lot of fun to receive this as a gift from someone or if I wanted to do a subscription box for a few months, I could, I would have a lot of fun. I'd be excited to receive this knowing that I'm probably going to get some yarn I actually like. So there you have it. There's my, my little unboxing and review for you. If you're interested, check out my um, code down below and you can get 20% off your first purchase at booksandneedles.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. I will be recording a podcast, an actual Treehouse Fiber Arch episode very soon. So we'll see you then. Bye.